So the final video in our multiplication series is looking at the compact method for long multiplication. And this is the method that as adults we will remember from school ourselves. Um, this is what we're aiming for children to be able to do by the end of year six. But as we'll have seen from these videos, that's a four year process. We're not going to go straight in with this at year three. We've broken the, the method down and we started the grid method and then we've, we've looked at expanded methods for short multiplication, expanded methods for long multiplication and ultimately we'll be teaching the children the compact method for long multiplication. So we're going to use the same calculation as in the previous video. So you remember from the previous video we looked at 58 times by 36 using the expanded method. So 6 lots of 8, 6 lots of 50, 30 lots of 8 and 30 lots of 50. Now we're going to do exactly the same calculations here, but we're going to compact this working out. So we're going to start in exactly the same way. 6 lots of 8 is 48, but this time, instead of writing that in the tens and the units, one digit per square, we're going to carry the tens over. So we've got 4 in the tens column carried over and 8 units. We're then going to do exactly the same, 6 lots of 50, 6 lots of 50, we know 6 lots of 50 is 300, but then we've got to add on these tens that we carried over, so that would give us 340. Now this next bit is the most important bit, because I remember when I was at school, I was told at this point, you put a zero there and just carry on. And we categorically cannot have that. Because what we haven't got there, anyone that does that, has not got the understanding of how this works. They might get the right answer, but they're not understanding, they're not applying what they've learned previously. We don't just put a zero there and carry on. And the reason for that is that we're, we're doing 30 lots of eight. It's not three lots of eight, it's 30 lots of eight. And 30 lots of eight is 240. And so that's a two in the hundreds, a four in the tens, and that's where that zero comes from. It's not just putting in a zero and doing three times eight, because three times eight is 24, it's not 24, it's 30 lots of eight, which is 240. We then do the final calculation in this, which is 30 lots of 50, 30 lots of 50, 1,500, add on that 200 that we've carried over previously, and that would give us 1,700. We can then add the units, we can add the tens, we can add the hundreds and that 700 and 300 gives us a thousand so we'd have to carry that thousand over and then we can add the thousands together. So we've got the same answer, 2088, 2088 and what we've got now is a much more compact way of working this out. We would not move the children onto this until they're absolutely confident with this and can explain the how and the why. And just to reiterate, this is quite key to children's understanding. It's not just about getting the right answer, it's about understanding how it works and why it works so they can apply it to um, other situations as they go forward. So, um, a harder example. We'll do a harder example together. So, same thing as before. 6 lots of 3 is 18, we're going to do a 10 and 8 units. 6 lots of 70 is 420, add on the 10 is 430. 6 lots of 400 is 2400, add on that 400 is 2800. We don't just put a zero, and the reason for that is that we're doing 10 lots of 3, not 1 lot of 3. And ten, lot, 10 lots of 3 is 30. 10 lots of 70 is 700. Add on that 30 will be 730. Uh, 10 lots of 400 is 4,000. Add on the 700 is 4,700. How many units have we got? How many tens have we got? We've got 800 and 700, which is 1,500. And then we've got 2,000, 4,000, and 1,000, which is 7,000. So we've got 7,568, 7,568, but you can see there the difference between the expanded 
way of working this out and the compact way of working this out. So it's time for you to pause the video and have a go yourself. I've given you 537 multiplied by 46. And when you've had a go, you can unpause the video and, and see the answer and how I did it. So the answer, 24,702. Did you get it right? If so, well done. If not, you can now go back and see what I've done and work out where you went wrong. And if at this point your child or you are confused, you'd go back to the previous method. You get really good at the previous method. And it's not about rushing through these methods. It's about getting to the end result at the, at the correct time once you've got a thorough understanding of what's come previously. So if you've got any questions or comments about that method, you can email me at cbaker at And that concludes our tutorials for the multiplication section of our calculations policy.